Welcome back to the Balanced Bond Podcast, Soul on Fire. Today, we have some fabulous guests, the amazing founders of Addictive Wellness Chocolate, Anna Blanca and Sage, who are also a power couple, complete, unbelievable, powerful duo who are so knowledgeable, probably two of the most knowledgeable people I have ever met when it comes to hormone health and healthy chocolate and running a business together as a couple and incredible things about sugar alcohols and where we get our chocolate from that people just don't think about. So I have the pleasure of meeting Anna Blanca at Acupuncture, but really we met so much sooner than that when they started their company I want to say four years ago, they were already running their company and she started reaching out to bloggers and podcasters and media outlets. And she reached out to, I think she said about a hundred people and only three or four people got back to her. And somehow I was one of those people. I was blogging. I didn't have my podcast yet. And we chatted and I told her, I will always, always, always remember our conversation because she was so kind and she shared so much with me. We had a real human connection, which is hard to do on email. And I was just telling her when she was here, I really wish that everybody would treat people like a true human, a true person on the internet over email um, just kind of pour your heart out and be kind. And that's exactly what she did. So we talked a little bit back then, then we reconnected at acupuncture. We see the same amazing acupuncturist, Dr. Kara, who's also been on this podcast. If you'd like to scroll back after this and listen to an episode all about Chinese medicine and acupuncture and cupping. And this episode is a real treat. We dive into everything from hormones, the difference between women and men's hormones. So how men need their testosterone and women need their oxytocin, but really women also need testosterone and all that good stuff. Herbalism and different herbs that we can take and use to boost our hormone health and energy and all sorts of other good things. Working with your significant other and how that goes, and all the tips and tricks that they have learned to make that a successful practice for them. And of course, chocolate. So, Addictive Wellness Chocolate is their company. And if you live in LA, um, then you have probably seen it at Erewhon and other healthy grocery stores, but they're also all around the country now and they ship. So you can go to their website and order some chocolate, especially with the code blonde, which will give you a discount, which is no, not a sponsorship just a fun little tidbit for you guys. Their chocolate is completely sugar-free healthy for every single person to use in their life. Unless of course you're allergic to chocolate or herbs, which is sad, but you know, it happens. So I want to dive into the episode pretty quickly here because today is a holiday and I am recording this. I haven't been feeling very well. So I just wanted to pop in and record it when I did have the energy to give you guys my all for a little bit. And before we dive into the episode with the fabulous Sage and Ana Blanca, I wanted to take a second to thank our wonderful sponsors. We will start by talking about Four Sigmatic, the most fabulous mushroom coffee company. Four Sigmatic is my jam. And since we talk a lot about herbs and mushrooms and all these amazing medicinal properties in today's episode. It's fun to talk about Four Sigmatic because it fits right in. So Four Sigmatic, as you know, is my go-to mushroom coffee packet brand that I use every single morning. I like to make a really, really yummy and delicious beverage where I add in chaga, which is a medicinal mushroom that gives alertness and energy and some amazing just 
firing to the brain, as I like to say. And I mix it with hot water, steamed almond milk, cinnamon, cacao powder for that chocolate boost. And I sometimes also add in either real coffee, so a little bit of cold brew, or mushroom hot cacao, which is another packet that you can get from Four Sigmatic. And I love it because I'm a chocolate person. The mushroom hot cacao has ginger in it and other medicinal adaptogenic mushrooms that make your brain feel nice and alert and awake. And um, yeah, and then I just warm it up or sometimes I drink it with ice because I love a good iced coffee type of beverage in the summer. And that's what I sip on. So The Four Sigmatic thing with me is kind of an addiction. I sometimes have two or three a day, which is totally fine because a lot of their products don't have caffeine and some of their products do have caffeine, but a lot less than you would be getting than in a regular cup of coffee. So if you like to have multiple coffees a day or most multiple coffee type of drinks a day, then you're much better off doing that with Four Sigmatic than you are with actual coffee. I know a lot of my friends who love Four Sigmatic, they can have three or four or five a day and feel really good, really on top of it, really energized. So to get your hands on Four Sigmatic, you can go to foursigmatic.com slash blonde. That is foursigmatic.com slash B-L-O-N-D-E. And you will actually find there my special landing page that makes me feel really cool because I give some quotes about what I love about mushroom coffee and adaptogens. And then you can shop all of my personal favorite products. So I know the Chaga is on there because everyone at Four Sigmatic knows I'm a Chaga freak. Um, I think the mushroom hot cacao is on there and probably the reishi. But honestly, you guys tell me. Tell me, go to foursigmatic.com slash blonde and remind me what all my favorite products are on there because I actually love all the products so much that I can never really keep my favorites in my memory because I know I love the chaga. I know I love the mushroom hot cacao. I know I love the beauty blend. I think that one's on my favorites page. But I highly suggest just shopping around the website using the code BLONDE for a good 15% off and getting your adaptogen on. So thank you for Sigmatic for being such a fabulous sponsor of the show. And secondly, I would like to thank Hum Nutrition, the amazing beauty supplement company that rocks my world and has completely changed my life. They also have a really great discount code for all of our Soul on Fire listeners. And that discount code is SOUL, S-O-U-L, which gets you 20% off at humnutrition.com. So Hum Nutrition is special because not only are they beauty supplements that promote beauty from within, radiating beauty from the inside so that it radiates outward. They also have nutritionists on their website that you can chat with and have an actual conversation with at humnutrition.com to explain to them what your deficiencies are or what you feel like you need a little bit of help with, whether that be energy or skin replenishment or weight loss or whatever it is, wherever you feel imbalanced, maybe you just need a liver cleanse or something to help get your metabolism boosted and they can help you decide what kind of supplements from HUM would best benefit your life. So HUM is special because they not only have premium quality supplements that are recommended by leading nutritionists, but they also are clinically proven non-GMO gluten-free, sustainably sourced, and very pure and potent. So I don't trust a lot of supplement companies, to be honest with you guys. I'm really careful about what I put into my body, especially because I have a sensitive body. I'm really sick. I have Lyme disease and mold poisoning, and I can't risk putting anything into my body that is not natural and pure. 
And I also just really can't risk putting anything into my body that doesn't work because I don't want to take an additional pill every day that's not actually going to get the job done. I take enough pills and enough medication as it is. So I've been taking a lot of hum nutrition supplements for, I want to say like three years now. And one of my favorites that I think you should definitely know about is the Daily Cleanse. If you've been listening for a while, you know I love me. A good Daily Cleanse from Home Nutrition. The Daily Cleanse supplement helps clear your skin and body from toxins. It cleanses the skin, liver, bowel, kidneys, and lungs by using organic algae, cleansing minerals, 15 different detox herbs, and a bunch of other wonderful things like chlorella, dandelion root, zinc, spirulina, um, even matcha green tea and copper. So these are a lot lot of different things that we are naturally deficient in that can just kind of help give us a little boost. So I take those two capsules. You can take them any time of day which is a huge benefit. So you don't have to remember, oh, take it with food, take it first thing in the morning. You can take them anytime, anywhere, and you will be set. That is the daily cleanse. It comes in a cute little seafoam green branding package. You'll love it. And they have tons and tons of other supplements and collagen and beauty supplements and gummies, all sorts of things that help you feel hydrated and good and wonderful. So head to humnutrition.com, use the code SOUL for 20% off and fall in love with the benefits of Hum Nutrition. So I know that's kind of an action-packed intro. I told you about Four Sigmatic, Hum Nutrition, and our amazing, amazing guests for today's episode, Anna Blanca and Sage. And they have addictive wellness. So you can kind of pick and choose between all of the fun adaptogens that I told you about and also the beauty supplements and chocolate. I just like to share everything I love with you guys. And now, without further ado, we're going to head into the episode. I know that you will be extremely entertained by these guests. They're such a fun couple. Like I said, they're a power couple. I'm in love with power couples. They are so much fun to talk to and I get so inspired by them. And Anna Blanca, for one, is absolutely hysterical. She will make you laugh. She'll make you roll on the ground laughing. And Sage will hit you with the knowledge, all of the wonderful knowledge that he has about herbs and hormone health and chocolate, and all the good stuff. So let's dive into the episode, and I know that you will enjoy. All right. Well, I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Thank you for having us. Yes. Hi, Jordan. You're so cute. Oh, you guys are. I have such a good view across the table. And you guys are the first guests at this table. We didn't have a table (gasps) when we first moved in. So we were just kind of like makeshift sitting on the ground. It's a really nice table. I'm a little bit jealous. Thank you. Stunning table. And it really looks like it's from a farm. I know. West Beautiful. Elm. I was no very way, really? inspired Score. by our friend Kelly Levesque. Do you know her? She's I haven't met her. a no. nutritionist. She lives in the neighborhood. She had the same table. <laughs> I was like, we need to get this table. It's so cute. So I'm so happy to have you guys here today. Thank the you. wonderful power couple behind oh. Addictive Wellness. Sage and Ana Blanca, who you reminded me, Ana Blanca, that we talked four years ago. Four years ago, the first time. You were just launching Addictive Wellness, if I'm uh, correct. We were in business then by about a year. Uh, what, wait, no, it was three years. No, three years ago we talked. Really, when you're so busy up to your ears that you don't even remember when you had your, what you had for your last meal, you mix up one year to the next. Yes. So when did we launch our company? Four years ago, right? Yeah, nearly four years ago. And, exactly on a giving and just Tuesday. after we launched, I was doing a demo in Vintage Grocers in Malibu and I met some lady there and she said to me, there's this girl I know, 
her, she's called the balanced blonde. Her name's Jordan. You really need to meet her. No <laughs> way. And this is like nearly four years ago. I wonder who that was. It was she. She's somehow related to you. And I'm. I've been racking my brain trying to remember exactly what the connection was that she said. Um, she could be. I have a lot of family out in like Calabasas, close to Malibu. Yeah, I don't know who it was, but she was very friendly, and I'm That's glad amazing. we're like finally making. This Let's connection. have a family party and meet her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you remember what she looks like, we can we can deduce at like some point. Mid height, maybe five six. Or brown hair, but that's as much as I remember. It's yeah. been a couple of years. Well, if any of my family members are listening and you remember this interaction, tell us who you are. That'd be so funny. I, I love, love that. that. Well, that's such a small world. And I had forgotten until you were saying the other night at your event at Next Health yeah. that we talked all those years ago. It kind of just exactly because my mind. We were so new and we were just launching our Kickstarter campaign and I was sitting at my desk about like 20 hours a day and then emailing influencers who I thought, can you guys please, please be nice. And I think you were one of very, very few ones who actually wrote back to me. And I was so stunned and you were just so sweet. I wanted to hug you so much. And um, just thank you for always being so there for everybody in this, yeah, in this you. community. You're thank amazing. Thank you. I'm so I'm so happy to hear that. And then I remembered it definitely the light bulb went off in my head when you reminded me because you were so nice. Your email was, <laughs> I wish everybody would talk this way on email. Just treat someone like an actual human and, oh, ex- you. you know, like share your heart and yeah. be really kind and open. And I'll always remember talking to you was such a pleasure. It wasn't like a business exchange, which oh, thank is you for very saying memorable. that because so we, we try to make sure that like Sage writes the emails because he really is such a big, 90% of the time, really he runs the company. And, and I'm doing other things uh, besides that as well. Because we are a startup company, we didn't take on investors. We wanted to make sure that the integrity of our product will never be compromised. So we have other side hustles <laughs> to mm-hmm. keep uh, keep the car running. And Sage writes him and says, Anna Blanca, come and let's inject some more of your... your- like, can you come add the flowers? And it, like, <laughs> I, sometimes I can fall into writing like a kind of a serious business email right. and she comes and makes it actually friendly. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are the best balance for each other. Yeah. And since you're such an expert on that, on the difference between women and men and our hormones and all of that. I can't wait to talk about that in this episode. Me too. Um, but first, tell us how addictive wellness came to be. So when I was in my late teens, like 18, 19, I was living in Costa Rica and I was just at the early stages of my health journey. And I basically had grown up as a vegetarian, but not a healthy one by any means. It was basically like basmati rice and tofu five nights a week. And, and like then one night a week was um, like Papa John's pizza and the other night was like waffles or something or pancakes yeah. or something like that. So it Dude, was like it doesn't sound too major, bad. I know, like, yum. <laughs> major carb life. Um, <laughs> totally. But so, it's, you know, could have been worse, could have been like, you know, McDonald's and Burger King, right? Mm-hmm. So I just kind of knew through my teen years, especially as I was doing lots of sports and surfing a lot, like I wasn't at my peak performance level. I, I knew something was missing. And I got turned on by a local friend to this kind of mix of hemp protein and spirulina and chlorella and some other Western herbs like um, like milk thistle. And he was like really fit, super healthy. And I just thought, I, I want to be like this guy. I want to I be stronger. I want to have more muscle. I want to have more endurance for surfing. Yeah. And I started, I didn't know what I was doing. I just took this mix and I was... I would put it with some Tropicana orange juice and and some mixed like berry, frozen berries and a banana and blend it up. And I just started noticing after a little while of having this every day that I felt amazing afterwards. Like this incredible mental clarity I would feel was just unbelievable. And I would go surfing with friends and they would want to come in after two hours, they were tired and hungry. And I would be out in the water for another four hours after that. And they were trying to figure out what I was up to. And I tried to turn them onto it. It tasted horrible. I didn't care how it tasted for me. Um, but, you know, I, if it was making me feel good, I would drink anything. I would drink dirt. Mm-hmm. Um, you still like that, trust me. But, <laughs> but I, couldn't, I couldn't get my friends into it, even though they wanted the same benefits because it tasted horrible. They were, they, like two of them literally threw up trying to drink this. Wow. <laughs> it was pretty full on. Uh, so 
I realized at that stage, if I want to share this with anybody else, if I want to have any impact other than improving my own health, I have to figure out how to make these things taste good. Because traditionally, you know, going back into the early 2000s and the 90s, the understanding is either it tastes good or it's healthy. And there's not a whole lot of crossover mm -hmm. between those two. So thank God that's really the myth of the past. Of what right. I realized I needed to, to figure out. And I was 19 in Costa Rica and I, I learned how to make raw chocolate. And it really connected for me that raw chocolate can be one of the ultimate foods because it's so incredibly nutritious on its own as a superfood, the highest natural source of antioxidants, the highest natural source of magnesium, the highest natural source of chromium. And then it acts as such a great delivery system for all these amazing herbs from ind indigenous cultures, things coming from Ayurveda or Chinese uh, traditional herbal systems, or even Amazonian herbalism, if you get into things like Pau Diarco and Cat's Claw. And I realized you can pull all of this together and it's a vasodilator. So it's going to drive them deeper into your system and it's an MAO inhibitor. So it lets the herbs actually stay in your body and keep working and delivering their benefits for longer than they otherwise would. And then on top of it, if you can make it sugar-free, so you're not using, you know, like coconut palm sugar or whatever may be used or, or agave as many companies are still unfortunately Don't using. Don't get me going on just agave. skyrocket right, people's blood sugar and that. feed all the bad stuff in the system. This can really be one of the ultimate human foods. Yeah. And to think it's all chocolate. Like, right. It's something that fits into the people's most system. Delicious per thing in the world. It, yeah. People understand person, it. People recognize he it. He made it yeah. sugar free for me. He had a little bit of honey at the beginning and then he just made it sugar free and for me. And then you stepped in and said, and then, nope. And you then, can do better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I did not put it that way, darling. I am more supportive than that. And then uh, we started putting the herbs in that and decided we're not going to do chocolate that's uh, different flavors. We're going to make them functional and we started developing the different functions and addictive wellness was born. That's so beautiful. I also have to tell you guys, I just remembered this. My doctor, my Lyme specialist, pulled out some packets, the, the ones that you guys brought today, mm -hmm. uh, like two weeks ago and said, Jordan, have you tried this? This is something wow. you would love. <laughs> and this is what I'm like recommending to my patients who want a treat, but they can't have sugar and it's oh. healthy. And I was like, oh my God, I'm friends with these people. That's and amazing. I was so proud, but that's so cool that even a Lyme specialist doctor who's in the business of making sure her patients do not have sugar or yeah. something that will mess with their hormones or with their health and their healing from serious disease yeah. can use your products. That's so There are some cool. amazing so research hard. hospitals yeah. where so they cool. have integrative oncology department. They're endors and sell our chocolate to the cancer patients because we are uh, delicious gourmet chocolate with beneficial Chinese tonic herbs and Ayurvedic tonic and, herbs. And sugar-free is the main thing that, yeah. that why, why, why it works yeah, for them. That was, that yeah. Was. So let's talk about the sugar-free component because I know oh, before we I go recording. I go crazy because there are about 50 different names for sugar that unless you actually understand what sugar is, you read it, it was the same thing at the at the time of MSG. And people started to learn the name of MSG and then they started renaming it. Okay, it's not that bad, of course, but they still have so many different names for sugar. And, oh, this is only made with coconut palm sugar. Yes, but it does the same thing in your body. Yes, it has some benefits with, um, with the minerals. Yes, but the honey, agave, coconut palm sugar, everything else has the same effect on your blood sugar level. Right. And agave, for example, it's worse for you than, than uh, high fructose corn syrup. Is it really? High is it level of, it higher level of high fructose content. Um, uh, corn, high fructose corn syrup has about 70% uh, of fructose and agave is between 75 to 95. That is so crazy. It's crazy because when I first became vegan like six years ago, agave was in everything that I Still made. Is. Yeah, but no, I mean like in my own kitchen because I just wanted to sweeten up smoothies and desserts and everything was like raw peanut butter cups with tons of agave and who knew? Right. I used to do the same thing. You just do the best you can with the knowledge you have, yeah, right? And, exactly. and we have things that 
are actually messing with you and, and causing accelerated aging and things like that. I draw on my pancakes. So, you know, yeah, <laughs> it's nuts. So let's talk about the sugar alcohols that you guys use in your products and how different they are from a sugar alcohol oh, that we wouldn't I, want. I love, I love listening to Sage explain the different ones. There is just one thing that I like when I do demos and I love doing demos from person to person because it's the best way to connect with amazing people. It is. And when you see that it says, uh, plant-based xylitol, your best course of action is actually emailing and calling the company directly and ask, what do you mean by that? What's plant-based? Because as far as they're concerned, the um, made in China xylitol that is made of GMO ridden and laden corn hobs is xylitol. We would never, ever, ever touch that because then you're just overdosing on glyphosate. Yikes. Yikes. It would have to say, uh, that it's made from hardwood because okay. then it's beautifully purely hardwood? grown trees. Yes, hardwood. <laughs> yeah. So, so the reason we're so excited and have so much fun making things sugar-free Yay. is that it had a big role in both of our lives. For me, in my teen years, I was on daily antibiotics for about five years for skin issues that, you know, looking back, probably had a lot to do with um, hormone imbalances and not knowing how to properly care for my skin and also just being on crazy amounts of carbs and sugar. Right. Right. If I, if I understood those things at the time, I probably would have avoided the whole hassle, but I, I didn't know. So it was daily antibiotics from for, for, for quite some time. And of course, that totally screws up your microbiome. Candida comes in all kinds of stuff like that. And so it was a long road to recovery for me, rebuilding. And part of that was that I really had to cut out all forms of sugar, really minimize carbohydrates and basically go on uh, the body ecology diet and figure Ooh, out body ways. body ecology diet. Yeah. Oh, so I Donna just discovered Gates. that. Oh, like, great. Donna Gates is an absolute she's genius. Wonderful. Yeah, she's so incredible. Incredible. She's been educating people about sugar-free way before, you know, the keto craze that we've seen in the past few years, which has been great and lots of fun. Yeah, but that's amazing. When you're on this kind of a program, you have to still be able to enjoy your life, right? If you're just eating like bitter foods and vegetables all the time, it sucks. So, you, you know, you have to keep the balance. You, it's great. It's an incredible blessing that we have that we have ingredients available to us now that are totally natural and really clean and have just beneficial effects in the body that allow us to be able to enjoy sweet things without the sugar and we can really have the best of both worlds. One of the most amazing things besides, of course, having you in my life, my darling, <laughs> is that since I met him, I haven't had one of those, I'm breaking down and give it to me now. I'm going to eat this cake and uh, Right. Because since I met him, he's been making me wonderful ice creams. We have the chocolate, we have our elixir blends and they're so unbelievably delicious. So even if I go out of the house, and um, go to a dinner somewhere, or I walk by a donut shop, like Four Nuts, right? Mm -hmm. I wish they would make it sugar-free, moving on. Or I go to Erewhon, and there is that incredible display of everything. Oh, I don't just go like, oh, I have to have this right now, mm -hmm. because I don't have the craving. I said to right. her the other day, what if we went back and told like teenage you self that some number of years from now, you will have an unlimited supply of healthy, sugar-free chocolate ice cream and whipped cream that you can have as much as you want all day long and you'll just get healthier the more you eat. <laughs> I mean, that would be I a say, dream to no, hear. What happened is that Erevan are, um, for the month of August, they are featuring um, fe uh, women on businesses and they sent me the questionnaire. And one of the questions was, what would be this, if you could talk to your teenage self, what would be the thing that you want to say? I'm like, I had nothing super wise to tell my teenage self except put on the chocolate. You're going to have unlimited amount later in love. You'll be okay. That's amazing. <laughs> because I was completely obsessed with, with milk or chocolate. Right. I, I was born and raised in Hungary and we had these uh, chocolates from Austria and Switzerland. And even if I look at the ingredients now and go, oh, oh, what right. were you eating? Oh, goodness. But at the time that was like, I couldn't think of anything else that I would this was my, my dad and Nutella. Nutella, yes. yeah. Yeah, one time in we Europe, were in, in, in um, Adriatic Sea. We were staying in this beautiful hotel that used to be a monastery. So they had these swinging doors. And I collected every tiny little penny that our parents gave us. And I bought this little jar of Nutella. I was coming back to the monastery and someone swung the door and it just broke. 
and dropped. And it, my siblings are still telling the story that they had to drag me away because I was going to try to like lick scoop the lot, from scoop the ground. it. And they said, the but it's shards. full of grass shards. You have to go. So right. yes, I was obsessed. It's an addiction. Completely. And that is a very positive element of the business that you have now is that it can feed people's addiction to chocolate. I mean, it's a healthy addiction when it's healthy chocolate. <laughs> but for those of us who have had a past with unhealthy relationship with food and you really do see desserts in like an Erewhon or something and like become obsessed, you know, with having them. It's so nice to be able to replace that with something healthy right. that actually has the health benefits. Erewhon was our first retailer. They, they were, were the first ones who gave us a chance. They are like family to us. That, that's where our business started. That's where our relationship started. That's where you met. So tell that story because I, I got to hear this fun <laughs> story before we started recording. Yeah. Tell us how you met. So it was 2011. Um, it was just after the Longevity Conference in October. And there was a, a like an after party kind of event happening at Air One Tonic Bar. And this was in, in kind of the heyday of the Air One Tonic Bar when it was really an exciting place. And I, 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 I came in and Ana Blanca was already there at the bar and, and she was looking fabulous. <laughs> and on principle, I had to go say hello. And it took her You're about- You're a good I, I flirt. Said, I, I said, mean, wow. Well, this is my <laughs> test for her. I said, hey, is that a Jing City you're drinking to see if she really knows the good stuff? And I was it took her about two invented. seconds to say, how old are you? And I said, I'm ageless. <laughs> and so we ended up becoming friends. And then about nine months later, we progressed. So amazing. More than friends. And sitting across from you guys now, just like the love between you is so special. Little kisses on the shoulder. I love it. It makes me so happy. Oh, we have um, a little office in our living room. We put in book, two bookshelves and that's our office. And we always joke a lot, a lot of sense. We're, we're at one desk about one a little desk. smaller than this table. Than this. Mm -hmm. And we sit next side. to each other and that's where we work. <laughs> so cute. And there is a lot of sensual harassment going on in that office. Mm. Always goes like, hey. <laughs> We're cuddling over that. here for you guys who are just listening. Yeah. I have no idea <laughs> what's are. going on and right it's now. it's the best thing ever. <laughs> and then there is a lot of hugging and kissing all day long. So I get a lot of oxytocin, which keeps taking us back to the same hormone. Right. Topic that bit. But before that, I, there was one thing I wanted to add to what you said earlier about addiction because our company is called Addictive Wellness. And lots of people do not know that the original Latin meaning of addiction means addictionem meant to be devoted to your loved ones, to be devoted to your God. That was the original meaning until opium came to England and uh, like about a hundred years ago. And people started saying that the gentleman is devoted to this substance as if it was his lover. And slowly, the meaning of the word changed. That's so interesting. I had no idea. So you can actually be devoted to wellness. So it has multiple levels of meaning, right? We yeah. also want to say you can get hooked on stuff that's actually good for you. Yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. So good. So the whole oxytocin thing that you brought up, and oh, I yes. learned a lot about this from you, Sage, the other night. <laughs> and already, Jonathan and I have brought this up and like oh, joked great. about it. Um because I wanted him to come on this like yoga retreat with me, but now it ends up that I'm bringing a friend of mine, a girlfriend, and he's like, yes, you can get your oxytocin Perfect. time. I'll get my <laughs> testosterone time. And we were cracking up, but it's, it's such an important thing. So tell us. Yeah. Well, looking at hormone health, about half of it roughly comes from uh, your diet, your exercise, uh, your nutrition, but about another half of it really comes from other lifestyle stuff like your your relationships and, and your behavior and your work environment and, and things that you're doing. So for women to have stress relief and to feel really good, you want to get your oxytocin high. For men, it's different. We need our testosterone to be high, to be feeling good and to minimize our stress. And when your stress is minimized, all your hormone production can really start to fall into place because you have these adrenals that when you are in a stressful situation, your body is going to tell all your hormone producing organs to start producing adrenaline and cortisol. This is designed over thousands and thousands, maybe tens of thousands, millions of years to make sure that you survive, right? The guy who, Which is a good who, thing. who, who saw a bear <laughs> and didn't produce cortisol to help him run and get the heck out of there or, or who came across a caveman trying to take over his cave and didn't produce cortisol so he could smash the guy's face in with his club. 
that guy died. He's not around anymore. He didn't get to pass on his genetics. And so we have these genetics that when we're stressed, our bodies over everything else will prioritize production of cortisol. And if you imagine if your production line here is focusing entirely on producing cortisol, it's not going to be making anything else. It's not going to be making the oxytocin, the testosterone, the serotonin, um, all these things that you need for optimum health because it's prioritizing immediate survival. If your body prioritizes long-term health and, and you having like a really easy menstrual cycle in a situation where you were about to die, it's not going to work. You're going to die. You're never going to have a healthy menstrual cycle anyways, right? So if we can first focus on minimizing stress and we can do that a lot of times through uh, making sure we have the right hormones in terms of oxytocin and, and testosterone. So how do women build more oxytocin? You get it through bonding. It's a bonding hormone. So you get that through talking about things, right? So women and men are different. Women come home from a day at work and you want to talk about stuff. You want to say, oh, this person said this. this Call me Jordan that. anytime. This, 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 <laughs> totally. is, this is how I was feeling. This is how they were feeling. What do you think they must have been feeling? Well, how do you feel about this? Guys, we just want to come home and sit down and, and read something or, or watch TV or, or work on a little project. We go into the man cave. The man cave is essentially a testosterone factory. That's where testosterone is made. Women make oxytocin through talking about stuff. Guys, we build testosterone while resting, and then we release testosterone through activity. So we have this cycle that we need to find of where you go to work, you're releasing testosterone all day, you're doing stuff, you're fixing problems, you're out conquering the world. Then you come home, you need to rest to make more of it. You can't just be producing all the time. And then on the female side, you need the bonding time with other women and with men, right? But guys, you can't count on your one man in your life necessarily to provide all of your oxytocin. You because will then build poor. up his oxytocin and bring <laughs> down his testosterone. He'll feel nice for a while, but he'll actually start to feel lethargic and kind of worn out because of it. It will build his empathy if you spend a lot of time with him, but he will also get drained. And that Especially can when we have amazing men who are there and being present for us, they would need to build a little bit more. So you can count on your, count on your man for like 10 to 20% of your oxytocin. The rest... You get female friends for that. You get the female bonding time. They are going to really benefit from this. And so are you because you're building each other's oxytocin, talking about all your feelings, reducing your stress. And then you won't need to unload all of that on your man, right? At the same time, the guy's got to focus on building his testosterone up. And so that happens through, as we said, rest and activity. So for traditionally, this is why this is, exists. Traditionally, if you go back to like hunter-gatherer culture, Women would be, say, picking berries, preparing food, taking care of children. This is a very safe situation, probably within some sort of a, a, a camp or a setting where there's not imminent danger. And they can talk about all their stuff. They, they're just, you know, we're doing their work all day, <laughs> chitter chatter, um, talking about all their feelings and their lives and all this, these great things, building oxytocin. Meanwhile, guys, traditionally, we were going to be hunting, right? So we are out there. And if we're talking about all our problems and our feelings, while we're trying to stalk our prey, they're going to hear us a mile away. And mm -hmm. the, the tribe where the guys tried to do that, the prey got away and the tribe didn't get to eat and they all died and they didn't pass it on their genetics. So this is how we got to where we are today. So if we understand this, these primal drives and this primal biology, then we can really look at optimizing our own hormones to bring down our stress and then allow our body naturally to produce all the other hormones that we need to thrive. That's amazing. Yeah. And of course, there's so many, you know, dietary and nutritional aspects to this as well. And those are really, um, a great amount of attention is being given to those nowadays, which is fantastic. But also you got to understand the lifestyle part because you can be doing all the right things nutritionally, but if you're in a relationship where you're getting drained or you're not getting the support you need from, from other people in your life, you will become depleted. Yeah. That's such an important thing to know for people in relationships because I think a lot of women get into relationships with men and they want to share everything, everything, everything right. with their partner. And I definitely had this realization with Jonathan early on from when we went from being best friends to being dating and together and intimate. I just wanted to talk to him like my best friend, like a girlfriend. And I wasn't get, you know, getting what I needed out of that. And then I was depleting him. And then I realized I love you for who you are in my life. And you're not my bet. You're not my girlfriend. Right. Like we have a friendship on top of our intimacy, but to put that on someone else is, can be a lot. 
Yeah, and, and if he's allowed strain. to rebuild his testosterone, if you're allowed to rebuild your oxytocin, the time that you do spend together is going to be so much more wonderful and vibrant and full of life and you're fully present with each other. It just takes the whole thing to a new level. Exactly. So what would be some herbs and some superfoods and things that could support that hormone balance? Mm. So first, you I really- I love Shatavari for ladies. Yeah, we'll get to that in one second. First, I just want to say though that you can also incorporate other herbs to bring down the stress first, right? Because that's like step mm, one. If you can definitely. do all the right stuff, but if you're under <laughs> crazy <laughs> amounts of stress, it's it's you're kind of going to be fighting an uphill battle. So my favorite here is reishi mushroom. It's an amazing. They call it the herb of immortality and spiritual potency. Beautiful. It's, I love it. It's great for bringing down the stress and anxiety, getting you out of your head and into your heart, and just making you really present. And it also works on the immune system. It helps in, um, improve your chi as well, your natural energy production. But the reason we specific, specifically are talking about it here is because it's such a great stress reducer. Then you also, if you jump over to the world of Ayurveda, you have an herb ashwagandha. This is one I'm going to mention a couple of times because it works in so many ways on so many levels. It brings down stress. It supports healthy thyroid function. It supports healthy hormone balance for men and for women. And it's such a great stress reducer. And it's so good for your adrenal support. Then also, you know, a few other um, stress-relieving herbs worth mentioning are, for example, albizia flower, great Chinese herb, just like super blesses you out. You get it in a tincture from dragon herbs and then just like one dropper full and you're just like floating. And, so and nice. we add it to all our berry ice creams and it makes it not just look beautiful, it tastes beautiful. Yeah. And it smells so good too. It's incredible. You can just like smell it and your stress is relieved. <laughs> I love uh, that. And then um, pearl powder as well. So pearl is great for the, the complexion and collagen production and, and moisture and elasticity of the skin. But it also is a, it's what's called a shen tonic in the Chinese system. So it brings down the stress and anxiety and calms the heart. Some, maybe some of your vegan listeners would not be interested in pearl, but most of the pearl is harvested without harming. The, the shells. So just what I yeah. put it out there. And then going into the category of herbs that are, are more specifically working on hormones for, for women, one of the best, as Ana Blanca mentioned, is Shatavari or Shatavari, depending on oh, how you like to pronounce it. They actually call it that the original Ayurveda, they say <clears throat> it is uh, the woman who has a hundred husbands. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I laugh so hard. I'm like, okay, of course, it's nice to have a, you know, male support but you really don't want to wash 100 pairs of socks a day, right? Right. <laughs> so actually it just meant, as we were talking with Sage always, that it just, we translated that you would have strong enough hormones to handle 100 men. Mm-hmm. I love that. I've never even heard of that herb before. Oh, I take it every Yeah, it's not very so well known, but it's so effective. We used to have it in our, uh, in our chocolate that was called femininity. Unfortunately, ladies didn't understand it as well as we were. And gentlemen should have, keep buying it for their women if they right. only knew how good that formulation was. But now we are actually thinking of, um, no, no, I'm, I'm not talking about this. <laughs> next time, next time, zip, zip. He's giving you the eyeballs. <laughs> no, 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 he didn't, he didn't. I actually you noticed had yourself. a frontal lobe, the frontal lobe cut it. Yeah. Yes. Talk okay, about so, it so, and then as we mentioned, ashwagandha, another great <laughs> female okay. and male hormone herb. And then for women, you also need to think about building your blood. This is something, guys, we don't have to deal mm-hmm. with. Women, you're losing blood every month. Mm-hmm. So you have to look at incorporating herbs, ideally, that are going to help to rebuild that iron. So some of the great ones here are longan fruit, for example, a great easy one to snack on. And it then- It tastes like bacon. No way. Yeah. I, I'm not kidding you. It tastes like bacon. And it's so sweet that when I, you know, that time of the month that I'm trying to eat it, so I started just soaking it in some tonic and blend it up with lemon juice and uh, make it into a sauce to put it over pancakes. That sounds delicious. Actually, it does taste good. It doesn't taste that bacony anymore. But I don't like things that are too sweet. And long and various. And the Rontiga Aroma says that it's like a number one blood builder, right? Yeah, so it's a great blood builder. And then you get a couple of different herbal formulations that can be really good for this. The two top ones traditionally are, one's called ginseng and longan, and the other is called bupleurum, B-U-P-L-E-R-U-M, and peony. And those are two great blood building formulations. And lots of times, especially if someone's on a plant-based diet, they don't have that heme iron coming from the animal products. And they really um, have a great experience from trying some of these formulations and, and being able to rebuild the blood because anemia amongst um, vegan and vegetarian females is, is a very, very common problem. Mm-hmm. Yep. I can relate. 
I'm very low iron, low ferritin, anemic. Oh, yeah. All oh. those things. Let's go to Dragon Herbs together and get you some. I would love things. to. I've yeah, never been there. Yeah, we got a Dragon Herbs date. Oh, you yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I've <gasps> never been. Where is it? It's a date, babe. Is it's it by you? Date. It's uh, in, not, not Robertson. In Beverly Hills, Hills yeah. Oh, okay, I, let's go. Oh. We can go to acupuncture and then we can go to Dragon <gasps> Herbs. God, I just went to Bali. Oh, did she? Oh, no, no, Thailand for two weeks. Oh, that's so exciting. But it doesn't matter. You can still come our way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone listening, we have the same acupuncturist, Dr. Kara, who's Oh, been on this podcast. She's Marco, she is so magic. She's, I love her. That woman is not just a great doctor, not acupuncture. She's a badass capoeira. I, Girl, know, I know. She really is. She really is. I know so many people have told me lately that they go to her now. Yeah. Recommended there by you. So many people like Suzanne <laughs> from the chalkboard and oh, yeah, Lexi. She the, she's model, Lexi. Yes. She was at your event. We have some yeah, very so great many friends people. going to see her. I love that. Okay, just a brief interruption from this episode with Sage and Anna Blanca to thank our third sponsor for today's episode, Sunbasket. Sunbasket delivers delicious meal kits right to your door, making healthy cooking easy and convenient for any busy lifestyle. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure I actually do know a lot about you guys and that everyone listening to this podcast lives a really busy, full life. You juggle a lot. We are all interested in our health and being healthy and feeling good. And to me, nothing feels better than cooking at home using organic produce with clean ingredients and especially when it's easy and delivered straight to your door. So Sunbasket has 18 healthy options to choose from every single week, including paleo, gluten-free, lean and clean options, and vegan. So we know that I choose the vegan options. There's lots of delicious options. Lately, I've been really into the braised tofu. You guys know I'm a tofu kind of gal, especially when I know it's organic, non-GMO, and I can really trust where everything is coming from with Sunbasket, which is huge at the top of my list always. So we're busy people. We're on the go. We don't want to take care of the details. We don't want to worry about how many of fish to buy for a meal, how many of this ingredient. So you really just want to have someone take care of all the details and then you can take care of yourself. Sun Sunbasket makes it super easy and convenient. And I also have a lot of fun cooking in the kitchen with Jonathan at the end of the day. It's a really nice way to wind down and we have a lot of fun doing it. So go to sunbasket.com slash blonde to learn all about everything that I've just told you and to get $35 off of your first order. That is sunbasket.com slash blonde for $35 off sunbasket.com slash blonde. Get your cooking on. And just remember you guys, I wouldn't tell you about any brand if I didn't love it, if I didn't use it in my everyday life all the time. Sunbasket makes life easy. $35 off is a huge deal. So just try it. Type in whatever category you love, whether it be paleo or vegan or vegetarian or what have you, and then tag me on Instagram and tell me what you think when you get your little sunbasket box in the mail. It's always so exciting to get it delivered to your door. And I will check it out. I'll repost to you. It's all really fun and exciting to see when you like the recommendations that I have. So we'll dive back into the episode with Sage and Ana Blanca. So I want you guys to tell the story. I loved this of how you communicate, how you've learned to communicate in ways that support one another. Like, for example, the way that you were saying, like, sometimes you just need to be heard. And so you Oh, it's, it's very interesting because when we just started dating, I realized that he was completely different than any other man I've ever met in my life. First of all, our communication was easier, but there was still, I was not used to living and, and working and being with somebody all the time. But I realized that he's listening to me more than other men. But there were times still when you're going, okay, did you hear me? Did you hear me? Because he's there and he's listening, but a million things are running through his mind. What does she want? What am I going to do in this situation? And I said to him, you know, if you're really busy and you don't know what to say, just do the grunt. 
we call it the manly grunt that he can have many different variation that mm-hmm. it means oh i hear i completely understand or mm, i'm not quite sure what's going on there but i hear you so as long as you do the manly grunt i will stop talking because i know that you actually heard me right at least she feels heard that way it, you think it wouldn't work you, you would think it's too simple but it's surprisingly effective when you really are focused on something else and you, she just needs to feel heard. Right. It's so funny. I Sometimes I'm in the kitchen and I'm talking, talking, he's in the office, so I would not hear the grunt. So I'm like, did you do the grunt? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. My other favorite, and actually I think that the most effective is when we say plan A or plan B. Because there would be some, and it's, Sometimes we actually, it goes both ways, not just from me towards him, but from him towards me as well. The plan A is when when somebody says something like, like I I bring up a problem that you bring up and she'll ask me plan A or plan B or, or vice versa. Right. And plan A is advice and plan B is just be there for me. And because up until the moment he asks me that, I'm not even quite sure what I was expecting. I might be just venting and ranting or sharing, or I really actually have a problem. And then he says, plan A or plan B. And I take a second to think, what do I need right now? Do I want this problem to be solved? Or actually, I just want you to listen to me and let me keep talking about it. And uh, it's really effective. Yeah, it works amazing. And then <laughs> the one other really good system we have for working at the same desk together, especially, but anyone who shares a workspace with somebody else, is that we have these two cards that we can put up. One is a red card and one is a blue card. Because often when you're working and you're really focused on something and somebody comes in and doesn't know how not available you are, they try to ask you something and you really want to be nice and friendly to them and, and say nice things and, and give them the info they need, but you're also ultra focused on your spreadsheet or whatever it may be. And it just rips your brain in half and it's incredible <laughs> internal pain and suffering. And maybe what I'm is and you interrupting may lash out him and with, you know, it's it, not even that important. Right. Or you want to be respectful to the person you're working with and, and you want to stop what you're doing and explain. I really understand that you need my attention right now. I am so sorry. Can I please finish what I'm doing right now? It's very important and I've been focusing. And you try to get back. But by then the flow or your thoughts or something, it's gone and it's broken. So, so you just put the card out. If you, ha- you put the red card up when you're totally not available. And but don't the blue forget card, to put it away. Hey, right, then you <laughs> right. got to put it away when, you're, yeah. when you are available again. You're not allowed to leave it up all the time. It's just, it's not fair. <laughs> yeah. no. and, and then the blue card, if I have the red card up, she can come put the blue card up to say, I see you're busy. Let me know when you are available because I have something to talk to you about. That's so great. So you don't just end up waiting for hours and hours. And and I will remember <laughs> that she needs to ask me about something so I can remind her about it in case yeah. she forgets. And then we get back to it. And these are just little Louisa L. Hay cards that I put this little clip thing on the bottom because we really had to figure something out. We really shared one workspace together for like a past four years and it works. Wow. And there is another one uh, that I really like because we are Google Drive crazies, everything is in a cloud. And sometimes, especially in a relationship or somebody that you work with or in with, you keep texting back and forth, right? Do this, don't forget to do that. Can you pick it up for me, what's happening? And then you try to remember what he or she wrote you, but you text back and forth nonstop. So you keep scrolling back, what was it, what was it, what was it? So we have um, an extensive Google Drive spreadsheet called ASAP. ASAP right now, today, or later, or the random links or whatever. I have like 10 different things on that, but the ASAP is for that day. So he wakes up in the morning and then he immediately checks all the things that I think we should do and accomplish that day I need from him. And then every night before I go to bed, I rearrange it or I put it uh, how important it is with different, I even color code it, whatever. But this way we make sure that we are as effective in both of our personal or business life as possible. You yeah. guys are so organized. Thank I'm <laughs> so impressed. 
Yeah. I mean, the fact that Jonathan and I just moved in together a month and a half ago, these are things that we're just starting to learn. And he doesn't work from home the way I do, but mm-hmm. sometimes he will work here for the morning. Like he has a pretty, he can go into the office or not. And these are things that we've come up against for sure. Like those moments of incredible focus that gets derailed different things like that so these tips are so helpful oh that's great oh yeah yeah so oh, i was gonna say something else on the note of relationships it'll oh okay it came back to me <laughs> are you good um, i know i didn't think i would get that one back <laughs> but how do you deal with you being a night person and you being a morning person it works great we basically Actually, kind of works. have a 24-hour functioning operation <laughs> So if you, if you call though. our customer service number, like anytime, somebody's going to answer. I know. How uh, funny is that? I know. Sometimes I write back emails to people at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. and they go, wow. And then Sage is dead. He's up 5.30. So I'm up 5.30 I, every morning. She's usually up until like 2 to 2.30 every night. So I, I started unreal. going to bed at 1.30. Last night I managed at 1.30. But to me, it is really, really good for my stress levels. When I try to get up earlier and try to go to bed earlier, there were always too many millions of things that are tugging at my attention all day long. Not just social media, but other businesses, uh, our personal life. I have to cook, I have to photo, I, and other phone dump, and other message. Somebody wants something, and I really like helping people out. So there's always have a million projects going that I help someone else. But minute Sage goes to sleep, like after 10, it's my time. I can finally wash the dishes, cook something, prepare the meals for the thing. I have uh, overseas calls to take care of. I can do my emails. Nobody calls me in the middle of it. Between 10 and 2, I get as much accomplished as I should be doing in one afternoon when I have other things to do. And then always um, clean up the house, organize everything, uh, and do my to-do list for the next day completely. And I close the laptop and I can take a shower and go to bed. It is amazing. I love it. the quietness and uh, the peacefulness of the night. And all my life, even when I was a kid, I was a night person. And uh, during the day, we are together all the time. Yeah. So actually, I think this is really good and healthy for a relationship that we are opposite. Yeah, I, I, I love it both ways, you know? I, I love the time together. But I love he the tells solo me time. he misses me in the Sometimes, morning. like, I'm having Aww. such a good time in the morning that I want to share with her. Like, at 7.30 <laughs> in the morning, I really want to go wake her up. Like, Ana Blanca, come on. I need I have news for you. Like, good things are happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cute. So every day you get a little time to miss each other and to have your separate time. Yeah. Yeah. That's so interesting. We're the exact same way Mm. where I'm the night person and Jonathan's the very early morning person. Ah. But we don't work together all day. So we have to really find that balance of like... Making sure you do get good Yeah, like he gets in bed with me even if he's not going to sleep so that we can talk and cuddle. And then he gets back up. Oh, wait. I said I was the night person. I swear Jonathan actually needs way less sleep than I do. That's the thing. He stays up later than I do and he wakes up earlier than I do. Wow. But I'm I'm more of the night person in general. I don't know. I guess it's hard to explain. But he's definitely the morning person. Well, the nights are prime hours. Like I know when we yeah. when we get to like eight to, to ten p.m. Ana Blanca like really fires up. That's like her prime hours. Whereas I I do really great between like five thirty and and nine a.m. And if I try to get to her to do anything at that time, it's like well, oh, this is not happening. <laughs> yeah, I would so be how like late, crawling. <laughs> how late do you sleep if you stay up until like two? Uh eight thirty nine. Okay, so you don't I, need I, I that actually much sleep. Actually, average, I wake up at 9 a.m., but I wake up feeling amazing. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> so good. So I'm curious, back to like the whole herbalism and all that kind of stuff, how did you become such an expert? Oh, yeah. Well, real quick, before we go there, do you mind me mentioning the, the herbs for men's hormones? Because I realized no, we gave please. out the ones yeah, for the no, women. We, and I don't want to leave out the men's hormones. We could go, go all over the place. Did you? Please, so please let me do. just quickly run through kind of like some of my top favorite ones. Um, again, this first one will not be for vegans, but uh, D-Rantler extract, very androgenic, very uh, growth hormone oriented and, and, and building lean muscle and burning fat and building more healthy hormones. And then you get other things like Hoshu Wu, Sistanch, Eucomia, um, Romania, Marinda. These are all the most amazing adrenal replenishing, uh, core kidney energy building Chinese herbs. 
and they're naturally going to support this healthy hormone production and building the testosterone. And you can also get into things like Tonkat Ali is a great male sex tonic, um, Tribulus coming more from the Ayurvedic side of things, or technically uh, Bulgarian Tribulus Bulgaria, is really yeah. the best one. And it's, uh, I'm going to just mention it for women, if they take it between the first day of their period until ovulation, it actually promotes ovulation. Yeah. And so those are some of the great ones for guys. And you also want to remember your thyroid for men and women, super important. Um, and, and some of the other herbs you mentioned, like ashwagandha is a great thyroid supporter. You can take kelp. Um, B vitamins are really important for thyroid support. Selenium, Brazil nuts, probiotics. Um, and you want to make sure you get your thyroid tested in a way that you're testing all aspects oh. of it. Most doctors won't test all aspects it and they won't the look at the right relevant undiagnosed. range. I know. It's so that funny. That's Lyme disease. Right. I know. Two of the things that I have. Um, so funny that you bring that up because I was just talking with my doctor about this yesterday and she was explaining about the different parts of the thyroid, the T3 and the T4 and how yeah. women are frequently put on T4, but what they really need is T3 support mm. and just how so many and people so many of them, they say, oh, around. 3.5 is still good. Right. I mean, I mean, 2.8 is still good or 2. Point something when it should be at least like many experts say 3.1 is fine, but actually 3.5 would be ideal. So 3.5. I am aiming at that. 3.5 what? Yeah. Oh, uh, just of, of the level of the T4. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that makes so much sense. And, and so, you know, you want to test T3, reverse T3, T3, T4, T3 uptake. Um, and then and, and also um, uh, thyroid antibodies to see if you have Hashimoto's because that's another really rampant And thyroid problem. antibodies is two different tests. They're like, uh, there are six or seven. Yeah. So, and, and then you got to find a doctor who really knows how to look at it right because some doctors oh. don't even know what they're looking at there. Right Here in LA, I have an absolute woman crush on Dr. Prudence Hall and uh, her practice is in Santa Monica. I wish I've met her 10 years ago, please. I went to see her and it's life-changing. Really? She is magic. So she's gotten your hormones She really, in really balance. is really unbelievable, when it, both for men and women's hormones. That's amazing. I mean, who doesn't have hormone problems these days? It's, it's one of the such, biggest challenges in the and, modern and world. And a huge issue. And she only uses bioidentical hormones. Mm. She does not like the pill. She does That's not what like my doctor the does too. Great. So Nature Throid, have you heard of that for yes, thyroid? Yes, I do That's that. You do? So that's what I'm going to start taking awesome. like tomorrow. I take that. I'm so excited. I need some thyroid support. And, but, but listen, both my sister and my mom have thyroid issues all their lives. So for the past 15 years, I've been telling doctors, can you please test mine? I'm just curious. Can you? I was skinny as a rake all the time. Can you please test mine? Oh, it's perfect. Your thyroids are perfect. Your thyroids are perfect. And guess what? They weren't. For 15 years. Just going, like you were telling people, something is wrong, figure it out. So please, please, please help me. And you have to find somebody who actually knows what they're doing mm -hmm. and finding the issue. It can be the hardest thing. Even in LA, where we have access I to the know. best doctors, it can be so hard. Yeah. Yes, but when, but when we find a good one, we share, Hold it. On. We yeah. share it with everybody yeah. and say, totally. there's somebody who can help you. For so sure. I am really happy with Dr. Prudence. I'm so happy. Yay. Excellent. So uh, your original question was asking how I accumulated mm -hmm. some knowledge. And <laughs> He's I'm, a smart cookie. I'm really an autodidact <laughs> when it comes to these things. I have like studied with and trained under some people who know a lot more than me along the way. But really, it came from, as I mentioned, when I was 18 years old, first getting onto that first superfood mix. And that triggered something in my mind that I said, if this was out there all along, I didn't know about it. And I'm feeling so amazing now. What else have I been missing out on? So that kind of sent me off down the rabbit hole of, of reading and researching and learning more about you know, first it was raw foods and superfoods and then eventually into Chinese and Ayurvedic herbs and other traditional herbal systems of indigenous cultures. And basically I would, I would learn something new. I would try it out and I would feel even better and that would get me more excited to go learn more. And, and then I would learn more about something new and, and incorporate that. I'd feel even better. And it was just this great benevolent cycle that brought me to where I am today and, and just love soaking up the knowledge and experiencing and, and getting around people who know a lot more than me. And it's just a, a cycle that's uh, been such a blessing in my life. And I hope it's had a, also kind of had a, a ripple effect on others as well. I think it definitely has. That's so cool. Thank you. And you've infused it now into your business. So right. it definitely has the ripple effect. That's awesome. I yeah, think whenever people know that they can trust our products 
because there is knowledge and care and integrity behind it. That's why we started our YouTube channel. That's why we're putting so much information out on our Instagram pages or, or Facebook pages, because we want people to understand we didn't just throw this together. There is mm-hmm. comp- absolute research for the purest, highest integrity, most potent ingredients. And then they've been put together with, with knowledge. Yeah. And the fun part about having full control of your own company and, and, and what ingredients you're using is that I can make the right decisions. For example, we recently just switched to a new Chaga supplier who is way better than anything we had ever had before. Just absolutely mind blowing the purity and the potency of this Siberian Chaga. And it costs twice as much as any other chaga out there. Or last year. That's not going to stop me. I get excited right. to raise our last ingredient year, costs. I don't care. Last year he comes home and he says, oh my God, I found this ashwagandha. We're going to start using it. It's four times more expensive than what we had before. And it is so unbelievable. I keep telling him we have to sell this ashwagandha individually. He says, it's so much more expensive than anything is on the market. I mean, no one will understand. We would have to put so much um, uh education into just explaining it to people. Why is it more expensive than others? He says, we can't, but we will keep putting it into our chocolate because it makes a difference of the experience of each function. Yeah. And where do you source your chocolate from? Our cacao comes from Ecuador. Mm. Yeah. So, it, and it's really special because it's heirloom Aruba Nacional cacao, which forms- Only 1% of the entire cacao production of the world. It's Aruba Nacional. Wow. Yeah. So it's the original heirloom variety. It grows in an intact- rainforest environment. Most cacao that's out there is a variety called CCN51, which is a hybrid that was created in the 70s to be more uh, resistant and resilient with with diseases that cacao deals with. And it's like these little short trees produces like four times as much, but the quality and the flavor is not the same. It's it's monocrop grown in like an open field. And it's just not It gets nothing out of the ground anymore. Whereas you can have a cacao like ours that's jungle grown in volcanic soil in an intact rainforest environment. So the local people who are harvesting it are essentially incentivized to protect that intact rainforest environment because that's how they can grow the superior cacao and and, uh, make a nice living for them and their families. They get so much higher paid than what, you know, in Africa when you're fair trade and they have like a minimum wage. These people, they get so much higher than... Yeah, it's a more expensive cacao. So naturally at all levels of the sales process of it, there's bigger margins. So the people growing this can make more. Yeah. So what about like, I was reading a lot lately about chocolate developing mold pretty easily. Um, what yeah. would you say? How do you prevent that with your brand? Yeah, it's, it's of course a, a rampant problem. Um, mycotoxins and things of that nature in, in it's both in coffee cacao, and chocolate right? and, and, and all kinds of other like um, grain related products. Our, our cacao is grown and processed in, in such a way that it is free of all these kinds of problems. We get people Woo-hoo. all the time who say, you know, I, I have mold sensitivities and, and things of that nature. And uh, yours is the only one that I can have. Oh my God. Yeah, because I was like off of chocolate, quote unquote, because I'm healing from mycotoxin illness, mold okay. poisoning, right. like horrible exposure in my last apartment um, along oh, with I'm the so Lyme sorry. disease. And so they really go hand. So my doctor had said no chocolate at all, but this is the same doctor who like showed me your product. (laughs) And so when I've been purchasing addictive wellness at Erewhon and eating it all the time, Jonathan, who always tries to stay on top of all the things that I say I'm going to do, but then I don't actually do. He's like, why are you eating chocolate? Why are you buying chocolate? And I was explaining to him, I don't even know the answer to this question, but I trust them. And I just don't think that their chocolate gets moldy. And no, my we are. Now I know. Yeah, for That's me, trust amazing. is like it's such a valuable thing that I will always bend over backwards to when someone has given me their trust to make sure that I carry through my side of the board. Yeah. We hear it back in our reviews, and I was just telling Sage if it would, if I would ever, ever have a very crappy day, I just go on our website and I read these reviews. That's so good. <laughs> because, oh my god, they're, they're like, so I'm touching. It's ter- amazing the things I people mean, have I remember, like there were some letters that we got that I was just crying. I was like, oh my God, this is just so sweet. That's so nice. Not a lot of people can say that. A lot of people would say, if you want to have a bad day, look at your reviews right. because <laughs> people can write some <laughs> awful yeah. things. And that, that, that's just that email that uh, came last week from that lovely lady. I kept reading it thinking, this is such a beautiful letter. She's probably going to 
ask for something because we get about 10 right. a day to donate here oh, and there. For and then sure. we're like, oh my God, I would love to oblige everybody. We, yeah, if you could we do, do that every single time. Can, but she just wanted to send this unbelievable letter that she took. It was a long letter too. Yeah. She says she found us at her doctor's office and what it means to her. And I'm like, oh, I want to frame. Can I frame makes, this? It makes my day every That's time. That's so yeah. nice. Yeah. I love that so yeah. much. It's this, I, someone would have ever tell me that I will have a business with the love of my life, a business that's delicious, has a purpose. I mean, I think I really am the happiest and the most blessed. And gets you your own personal unlimited supply of chocolate and Chinese tonic yeah. herbs. Yes, that's, true. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the bonus, baby. That's the fridge. Benefit. <laughs> I need to try this ice cream that you guys are talking about. We are overdue about. for an ice cream party with you. Yes. And, and for anyone who wants to kind of check out what we're talking about, we on our YouTube do tons of different flavor varieties oh, of, of, so of sugar-free ice yeah, creams that you can make in your Vitamix at home in 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, that's not yeah, just something people to dream about. As well. Check out oh, our YouTube channel so fun. and people can see it on yeah, there. Yeah, we'll put the link in the show notes. Yeah, I have so, those for dinner anytime. Oh, yum. <laughs> ice cream for dinner, my favorite thing. So we'll head into the rapid fire questions. Ooh, they don't, have, they don't okay. have to be that rapid fire. Okay. Just questions I ask everyone. What are your sun, rising, and moon signs? If you know. <laughs> oh, um, my son is Virgo, uh, rising is Pisces and moon is in Libra. So Libra I am, moon. so if you think about it, both, uh, the, uh, the Virgo and the Pisces are opposite of each other. And yeah. I think my moon is in Libra and my Venus is in Libra. So I'm like, so balanced. Everything is just balanced. balanced Lucky balanced. you. She's the balanced blonde. You're the balanced brunette. <laughs> I know. I know. Except I'm like all air signs, Libra, oh, Aquarius. So, nice. so, well, I don't have any earth in my chart. Not one single earth sign. Oh, really? Anywhere. So I don't know about the balance, but I'm always striving for balance. What about you? Do I you am know? a Gemini, but that's all I know. So yeah. But you're, yeah, no worries. But you're on a cusp of Gemini and Cancer. Yeah. He is oh, really cancer. So you're June, June 19th. 19th. Cool. That's a good day. Thank we you. don't know about the rest. Oh, I'm curious now. And I know this because when I lived in Vancouver, I was friends with a very, very kind gentleman, elderly gentleman who was a professional astrologist. And he made my charts all the time, like each year. I learned so much at the That's time. That's incredible. Uh, when's your birthday? It's probably coming September up. September 3rd. Oh, it's really coming up. Really coming up. That's exciting. We usually spend it in Ohio. Uh, in Ohio Valley with his yeah. parents. Oh, so that's, nice there. Oh, is that where your parents live? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. I, I have chatted with your mom on the phone, funny so, enough. Wanted to get a sauna from her so bad, and I still will. I just need to figure out Cannot live this space. without these infrared saunas. I mean, the first time I met Sage, it was part of his seduction team, Kim, actually. Yeah, so he took me. At the time, my Come parents also had sauna. a wellness center tell, where tell, they had tell, a like, oh, right. so, so my parents were doing the sauna business, but they also had a wellness center where people could come and use the saunas. And I said, part of my like my move <laughs> with Anna Blanc was like, hey, my parents have this wellness center. They're closed on Sundays. You know, why don't you come by and we can use <laughs> oh, the sauna yes. and the vibration plate and the, and the jade massage beds. And it's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that was it. I Who was could gone. say no? I mean, <laughs> This, these infrared saunas are so incredibly healthy for you. And I was doing a heavy metal detox at the time, and it really helped with my heavy metal detox. That's amazing. Yes. That's and more about and well, one of the most amazing things that has really come about in the past few years, and research wise, is the way that the infrared wavelength creates easy water in the body. And easy water is, is also known as exclusion zone water. And this is a, they call it the fourth stage of water. And it's it enables the water to move easier through the body and carry more energy. So it's essentially um, facilitating healing and optimal health throughout your entire body. It's really amazing. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a huge fan, huge fan of infrared. I go to Spot Theory all the time oh, and nice. they have clear light oh, sauna. Yes, so of course, when I talked to your mom, I was like, yes, I will put this anywhere. But then we moved in and- You can put it on your um, terrace. Maybe. Well, know. that terrace technically is like not ours. Oh, it's I ours. mean, oh. the part mm. right outside the door is. Yeah. The rest is like a yeah. fire walkway. Oh, okay. So, okay. but I'm thinking about putting it on the balcony. I just have to make sure the building is okay else with will be it. going and chilling out in there instead yeah, of Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Thinking about putting it on like our part of the balcony. I'm going to figure it out. Yeah. Oh, that would be, be so nice. Yeah, and then the health... we'll come and visit you. Yeah, so I many know. people have such great... 
um, relief from Lyme with those as well that, I, that yes. I've known personally. Right. So yeah, I'm, like, I'm excited know, to see what the experience the is like for you. I know, me too. Um, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? I always imagined myself to be a black panther when I was a kid. I was like, they are so beautiful and sexy and... But I think nowadays more like hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. That's such a good balance. I'm a surfer. It's my biggest passion in life. So dolphin is the, the natural thing for me. Of course. Like, of course that I resonate that with the most. Another day when you came home, tell that story. It was beautiful. Oh, it was about a month ago. My my cousin and I were surfing together and there was nobody else out in the water. And there was the last wave of the day. We had a few friends on the beach and he and I caught the last wave in together. And suddenly this dolphin jumps out maybe six feet in front of us, straight out of the wave. It was just like, the most mind blowing thing where you're just like fully caught in the moment and you look at each other like, did that actually just happen? That's it was magical. So cool. Magical. Yeah. Oh my God. Dolphin that's like wanted a dream. to play with them. Just oh, dolphins those. are so friendly. Yeah. yeah. So sweet. That's so cool. Favorite workouts. Mm. Exercise. That is changing. I really love going on beautiful hikes in Ohio with Sage. And recently he signed me up to, I think now it's called Alo Yoga. It's not, it used to be called Cody, but now it's called Alo Yoga. Oh, yeah. Right? And Dylan Werner, that guy, this yoga instructor guy, yeah. I adore him because he has, I'm just doing this basic yoga strengthening exercises through him. It's one month. Every day you have between like 18 to 23 minutes and then one for scapula, one for core health, one for mobility. And because I've been working so hard over the past five years that I never prioritized myself for movement. Unfortunately, that happens. And nobody tells you that, that when you start a startup company, it's like ha- equivalent of having newborn triplets, your life is gone. So for me, I just have to re-strengthen my body. And these yoga classes, just every day I find enough time to do those and they are unbelievable. So Dylan Werner, love you. So cool. (laughs) Yoga's the best. Yeah, yoga played a big role for me as well. You know, I practiced Ashtanga yoga for many years on a daily basis. Um, But I would still say my number one is surfing, Um, having that time in nature. And for me, surfing is such a, a metaphor for life and being in the flow in, in the sense that when you first learn to surf, you're just kind of riding the white water on a big board into the beach. And it's kind of people who, who will just like kind of just go with the, wherever life pushes them. That's like kind of like the beginner level, right? Then you get out and you have to get the timing right. So you have to catch the wave just as it's about to break. And that's kind of starting to get into the magic of the universe and, and kind of manifesting things and, and getting in the flow where you have to be at the right place at the right time and put in a little effort and make something happen. And then you start riding the wave down the line and it's kind of more of doing a dance with the universe. And, and, and these are kind of just evolutions of, of you as a person interacting with, with life and understanding the, the way of the world. And then the ultimate of surfing is getting in the, in the tube, in the barrel. And that is not a place you stay forever, but you get there and it's the ultimate experience of being in the moment and being in, in the divine holy flow of life when things, all the magic is just happening all around you and you're, you're just there right in the middle of it. <laughs> and that's not somewhere you stay forever, right? You, we all have these experiences. You don't stay there forever, but once you've been there, you just dream about getting back there and it pulls you back. And once you've been there, it's easier to find your way back to it. And it kind of just like leaves you in this feeling of total magic afterwards. That's amazing. Yeah. You're making me want to surf more. <laughs> I, Time for another trip back to Hawaii. We're yeah, actually in this magical flow right now. We've been, we are, we really feel like. The last few like, days we've, we've been in the tube. It's been really oh, nice. Oh, that's yeah. so fun. In the past three days. And then right now we're here with you right while we're in the tube. It's, it's yeah. an incredible feeling. Yeah, it's good to be in the flow. And I yeah. love Nothing being like in actually, it. speaking of love being in the ocean, we say the colder yeah. the water, the better. We love. We both really? love cold water. Ana Blanca is a complete cold badass. We'll go in the water in the middle of winter in the ocean You're with no kidding. wetsuit. No wetsuit. She, I have so much respect for her. Yeah. I was going to say, I, I have to get it. back to Hawaii to surf because I like the warm, right. warmer ocean water. That's impressive. Yeah. He's on the board and I'm just swimming around and getting trashed by the waves. But <laughs> we so both fun. really enjoy the Wim Hof method and, and the breathing techniques right, that exactly. to build up the nervous system and allow you to adapt more easily to yeah. that cold. 
you and Jonathan both. Yeah, he's nice. always trying to get me to take cold showers and right. do the breathing. And the oh, this will help you be a morning person. Oh God, no, I can't. I, I have so much <laughs> I, cold I, showers. I, I'm standing in a cold shower waiting for it to get cold. And I'm like, it's not even cold. What? We are but the opposites in that way. <laughs> I have to take a. I was a cold bussy shower. for the longest time, but. I mean, when I was a child, we went up to the Baltic Sea a lot. Um, and even in the summertime, it was pretty cold. And I always, always loved being in it. Yeah. Until like, like my little toes were like green and purple and they were pulling us up. Yeah, that's so fun. I love that. Uh, next one is teachers or mentors in your life. Personal or somebody that you would read from? Does it uh, have to- either one. Or both. Okay, Sage, you start because I can't think of anybody right now. Oh, that's such an interesting one. You know, I, I've had, I haven't had like one big, like, this is my go to teacher or guide or mentor. It's just been, I've been so fortunate to, at each step of the journey along the way, connect with the right person for that specific stage. If I were to give one book recommendation, I would recommend The Ancient Wisdom of the Chinese Tonic Herbs by Ron Tea Garden. Mm -hmm. It is such a beautiful and a wonderful book that you can read 20 times and get more information out of it each time. Just on, on first on life philosophy, on Taoist herbal theory, on Taoist health theory, and then on this amazing world of the tonic herbs that have such a powerful ability to impact our health and build our, our life force and longevity. I don't know. For me, the teachers were, I, I grew up with a very close siblings and everything actually how I am and the way I am right now and uh, the learn the most was like from my sisters and my brother I didn't have a mentor that way I don't think I ever have it's such an interesting question nobody asked that before and uh, the fact that nobody pops out it probably means that I didn't have one (laughs) (laughs) that's good it was your family that's that's great if you were a color what color do you feel best represents your energy I go blue. Yeah, no question about it. It's, you know, it's, it's an ocean. Thing. Ocean. Ocean and sure. sky, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Half of my cooling. name means white. I am wearing white. I think I'm white. Under Blanca. Yeah, I think there you, you are too. <laughs> the color of the universe. Oh, really? It is? Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. Darling. Hello, color of the universe, <laughs> Anna Blanca. I love that. Um, so tell everyone where they can find you, where they can find your chocolate, especially if they don't live close to an air one. Where yeah, else can so, they So find our you? website is addictivewellness.com. You can, of course, order from us online. Uh, we do have a retailer finder on there. We have about 200 stores across the country that carry cool. our products. Ooh, uh, we should set up a code, Jordan. Oh yeah, so, so oh, let's, let's do, do it. Let's do blonde. Let's do, okay, blonde. 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 So yes. if anyone wants to come That's to our site, do. use the discount code blonde. It'll get you ten percent off. Cool. And then uh, on, check us out on social media. We're Addictive Wellness on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We do lots of educational uh, content. If you have questions for us, best place to do do it is hit us up on um, Instagram, and we respond through Instagram stories. So other people can also benefit so from good at information. It. There are times and he says, we're not going to bed until we knock all these questions off. I'm like, okay. So we sit down on this little stool in front of the bookshelves and it's question after question after question. <laughs> That's so good of it's you. So, I love we do it, it all the so time. so much fun. I love it. <laughs> so guys, yeah. honestly, send us questions. It makes his day. And you have the phone <laughs> number. I don't know if I should be saying this. On the back of your product, which people can call you too, yeah. right? And ask yeah. questions. It, it, there's not, it, like, I can't guarantee 100% that we'll answer because like, we're also running the business. Let's say There's a Instagram lot going on. Is the place. Like the, 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 the best way sure. is to hit us up on yeah. Instagram. That's the way to go. Yeah. Because then you can address like you said, other everybody. people can also benefit mm-hmm. from it because if there's one person asking for sure, there's a hundred people who have the same thing going on but haven't asked. Oh, and so mm-hmm. That way you can benefit not just yourself, but the community as yeah, well. Yeah. I love it. Well, thank you guys so much for being thank here. You. This was so thank fun. You so, much. so glad we got to do this. Thank you. Always happy to see you. Darling. Me too. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode with the fabulous Sage and Anna Blanca. I know you learned so much and your mind was probably blown by everything they had to say about working together as a couple, hormone health, balancing with herbs, and the craziness of the chocolate industry and really truly how hard it is to find chocolate that is healthy and something that I would feel comfortable giving 
to my own body, which is a very sick body that can't handle any sugar whatsoever. And I would also feel comfortable giving to just about anyone suffering from any type of illness or, I mean, as sad as it is, terminal illness. And as they talked about in this episode, you can really trust the ingredients with addictive wellness. I think that they're changing people's lives. They are such good people. And when there's good people behind a company, all I want to do is support it. And that makes me really, really happy to have them on the podcast and share them with you guys today. So thank you for listening to the episode. Just a quick reminder, our sponsors for today are Four Sigmatic, where you can use the code BLONDE for 15% off of mushroom coffees. Um, Nutrition, where you can use the code SOUL for 20% off of beauty supplements and all sorts of different supplements and collagen that can enhance your life and your health. And of course, Sun Basket, the fabulous meal delivery service that delivers food and ingredients straight to your door so you can cook yourself, but everything else is taken care of. So you can go to sunbasket.com slash blonde to get that $35 off. Whoop, whoop. And definitely join our Soul on Fire podcast tribe on Facebook to keep the conversation going, meet friends from all over the world and chat with me a little more. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening. I have some solo episodes coming up where I will update you more on my health and how I've been feeling lately. I had a really good morning this morning. I had coffee for several hours with Jenna Zoe from, or Jenna Zoe rather. People call her Jenna Zoe, but that's like Rachel Zoe. She's actually Jenna Zoe. She's the human design chart reader from an earlier episode of the podcast. And she's just a good, good friend of mine. And it really got me in a good headspace to record this intro and outro so that I could just be at least a little bit awake and alive for you guys today, which is what you always deserve, always. But it's hard because I've been so sick and it's hard to maintain my life and to do any thing to be honest. So to have you guys here supporting me means more than you will ever, ever, ever know. If you feel so inclined to rate and review the podcast, it would mean the absolute world to me. It's really helpful when it comes to visibility on iTunes and getting new listeners and transitioning more people into our spiritual community and our wellness high vibe community. So if you do take the time to rate and review the podcast, Send me a screenshot to jordan at thebalancebond.com so I can thank you and send you my blogging tips and tricks document that I send to everyone who takes the time to rate and review the show. Thanks so much, guys. Mean the world to me. And I hope that you have a wonderful soul on fire inspired day.